Hello, beautiful Cancerians. How are you today? Let's see what the Romance Angels have for messages about your love life at this time. What are the messages for Cancer in their love life? All right. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Oh, nice. Nice energy, Cancer. Let's see. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Okay. So let's see what is going on in your energy. I'm going to do two spreads of cards for you. I'm going to do a couple spread. And then I'm going to do past, current, and future energies. So we're going to look at um, an overview of actually what's happened and what's unfolding. So let's see what the mutual energy is for the two of you at this time. Cancer, let's see. Oh, happiness in the recent past, happily ever after, Neptunian energy, Pisces energy, very sweet. It looks like you've had some sweet times, some very romantic, very, you know, cuddly Netflix moments, nice dinners, some laughter, listening to music, that sort of thing, just enjoying one another's company. Ooh, the Leo King, passion, ignited. So currently the two of you are very passionate about something that's going on in your relationship. You're passionate with one another, certainly. That Leo energy is the energy of romance, sex, fun. It's the energy of the fifth house, entertainment, getting out there, enjoying yourself, but also very passionate nights, days, and afternoons. Okay, what is going on here? Okay, so what I get is that your person, Cancer, is viewing the relationship as stagnant in some way. Um, the Four of Cups is almost the energy of Somebody who gets bored easily and or someone with whom, you know, you have to have this sort of constant source of excitement. The Four of Cups energy speaks to the fact that they're taking a lot for granted. They're taking the situation for granted. It's not a horribly bad card, but it's not one that is my preference to see in a reading. But we're going to go ahead and clarify that. That can be pandemic kind of boredom, like I don't get to see my cancer enough, bored without you cancer. So that can go that can go down a lot of different paths. So let's see how they view you cancer. How does cancer's person view them? Ah, okay. So they view you as the Libra queen. The Libra queen is someone who is very clear cut, somebody who knows exactly what she wants. She knows how she wants it. It also shows that it's all about the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. The fact that you're in this Libra queen energy, they feel as though something has gone on between the two of you in which you are probably judging them and judging the quality of your connection. So it looks as though they think that in some way you are not happy with them. Um, the Libra Queen is fair. She's balanced, but she knows whenever there's a lie, you know, she, she can pick up on the truth. Walk in and make a snap judgment on any situation. And it looks like your person doesn't like that. In their heart space, here we get, now we understand what the Libra Queen is looking at. Because what we're getting here is the energy that um, cancer, you don't know that this person is being fully honest with you. We get this moon card. You feel as though this is how they feel in their heart space. And the heart space says that they don't know how to handle the emotions. And it looks like there's, there's a feeling that they have to make a choice. And they're not sure what that choice is going to be. This is what, on one hand, they can keep their options open. On the other hand, they could commit fully to the relationship. And it does look like cancer, some of their behavior has indicated to you that you feel as though they are 
they are they cause some conflict you know this is a person who can bring some drama into the relationship a person who can be uh, selfish you know five of swords energy and they view you as being someone who is giving them a headache like you're over here you know you're yelling or complaining or you know you have something to say here and they do not like it the hidden energy between the two of you is that you're both holding back and that you're feeling a lot of doubt about the 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 quality of the relationship, the strength of the relationship. So it's really interesting because the first two cards out of the deck about your energy is is almost like a mystery with the rest of the reading. So let's see. Let's see what spirit is recommending. The past, present, and future will tell us much more about this reading, though, for you. So let's look and see what Spirit is recommending. Healing. Okay. So it does look like the two of you have had some conflict. It could be ego-driven conflict, but again. So what is the short-term outcome for our Cancerian friends in love? What is the short-term outcome for Cancer in love? Uh, passion, though, it's in and out energy. Kind of really just more about entertaining and having fun. Being entertained, entertaining one another and having fun. There's no commitment here other than at the very beginning. You know, in the recent past, it looks as though you may have made a, uh, a really strong sort of emotional commitment. You spoke words that convinced at least you, Cancer, definitely that there was going to be a future and now it looks as though the energy is quite young quite borderline childish to be perfectly honest with you <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and clarify the energy here and see what's going on with this so why do we have the ten of cups in the past the recent past why is the ten of cups energy here devil energy that's weird seven of cups so there may have been a rush to judgment about the relationship from the king of swords okay so i would say that what's going on here is this sort of very this is the seven of cups is Scorpio energy and Scorpio energy would be indicated by the seven seven of cups because it could end the relationship if a person chooses someone else we have that in both both you know both cards here is that the relationship could end this the devil card on the ten of cups also means that there could have been a a bit of coercion like oh baby baby you know we're so good together you know we'll be together forever you know it could have been a sort of a form of seduction to come into the relationship and promise uh, the sun moon and stars sort of prematurely in the relationship we definitely have that you know your person is viewing the situation as okay now and this is this energy of uh the four of cups is cancerian energy so it looks like they're viewing you as a person who's not so happy with them and then we see the follow-up with the libra queen temperance card says that you would like to work things out with this person you know that's that's important to you you that's sagittarius energy you're willing to give this person the benefit of the doubt you know you really are but they have to be they have to really be there for you you need that sort of angelic intervention to know what's going on with this person the eight of swords says that your person doesn't really want to hear it they're very closed off this could be a ghosting situation for some of you not necessarily, but there could have been a time where if you were mad at this person, it looks as though their habit is to just shut down. Well, that doesn't work, right? Going, I do like this, the way your person sees the, the path forward in the relationship is to get to know each other better. They want a victory. That's Leo energy, Virgo energy, Gemini energy, and Sagittarius so this person wants a victory in the relationship. They're willing to work on it more. 
um, why do they think, why do they feel that this is so thorny? The sun card because oh okay so your person feels as though they're all about this is leo energy so you may be dealing with leo sun moon rising or venus so this person is all about living in the moment and cancer you know that's not really where you're at on the spectrum by nature you're all about nest building and so you know when we look at that energy there's sort of a different way that both of you look at how to build a relationship together now, the clarifier for the Page of Cups is the Five of Wands, conflict. But both of you are holding back, but you both want a new beginning. So that's very helpful. Spirit, why is the Four of Swords here? Why is Spirit telling you to take a break? Okay. Being overindulgent in the past, rushing in too much is ill-advised, is what Spirit is saying. You're going to have to heal from promises made way too early in the relationship, way too quickly. So we're seeing that Spirit is saying, whoa, 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 slow down. You can't, you're moving too fast, too fast. That it, The potential is here for the two of you to love each other very deeply. The Bride and Groom card, that's Cancerian energy, that's Pisces energy. But, you know, we're in the time of Pisces also, and we have Neptune in Pisces. So, in some ways, you know, this looks like it has a potential to be a very good relationship. But you, it appears both of you stumbled into this with a very, you know, foot on the throttle, moving very quickly. You know, because what we're seeing the, with the Romance Angels, that this is a viable, worthy uh, romantic opportunity. So why is the Knight of Wands here? Okay, slowing down. Good. Okay, so the message here is that both of you still, you're not going to make a commitment, but what you are going to do is you're going to commit to slowing down and not making this all about, you know, being in bed, you know, working on the relationship in a much more heartfelt way, you know, being very Virgo and being very virtuous about the way you approach the relationship together. And why do we have the page of coins here for our beautiful cancer friends let's see page of coins the tower card okay what we're seeing here is and I'm gonna go ahead and put these cards out because they flipped okay so what we're seeing is this sort of romance on hyperdrive and spirit is saying to you that that's not going to work that the tower card is not allowing you to build a stable foundation in the relationship that you have to come at, into this relationship as more than a page you know the six of cups again hyper you know super romantic but a bouquet of flowers and a passionate night do not a foundation make so what we're seeing here is spirit is saying and the cards are telling us this message that you know while it's truly wonderful to have this experience if you rush in and don't build the foundation that you're not going to have the longer term experience it's going to allow this to turn into a deeper level relationship so I'm going to take a look at the uh, past present and future and see what the energies are for you cancer in this relationship to see what's happening so let's pick these up really quickly and go on to past, present, future. Okay, so past, present, future spirit for our cancer friends. Let's see what we have. It looks like you might not be speaking right now. So let's look and see. Past, look at the cards don't even want to shuffle. Interesting energy that there's just like this stubborn sort of lack of integration of the cards. Interesting. Okay, so let's see what is happening. Past, present, and future. Tell us more, tell us more. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, we have three cards here. Past, reliable energy, present. Oh, okay. So the Nine of Cups, there's still a great deal of happiness. And then the, the future is telling us that the two of you will study the situation that you will give more positive energy to this, that you're coming in in a more grounded way. 
Oh, nice. Virgo energy twice in the past. So it does look like you were trying to build a good foundation to the relationship. Virgo is all about making things happen the right way, building a sound structure. The Ten of Pentacles is a legacy relationship. So that was sort of the talk that the two of you had at the beginning of the relationship. But you, oh, this fiery energy, Aries energy, Leo energy, all of that talk seem to ignite a lot of passion. This is the happiest card in the deck. So this is a pa you know past, present, future. So in the past, we saw both of you take the leap of faith, feel like super confident. There's nothing that could possibly go wrong. We're going to jump in. We're going to have a lot of fun and passion. Fifth house, romance, adventure, you know, just pure fun because we know that we're building at the same time. So that's a really good reading. So let's see what we have going on currently. So the Nine of Cups could be, it's eat, drink, and be merry. It's also wish fulfillment. <clears throat> okay, nice. Okay, so the two of you seem to be discussing a future. I mean, I'm getting a lot of marriage energy sprinkled in this relationship. So it does look like the two of you are talking about like, well, if we got married, where would we get married? When would it be? Cancerian energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're seeing that you both are rushing into the future once again. The energy here says that you are trying to build a really sound foundation, but you are rushing. Once again, there's a tremendous urge to do this quickly. Nine of Cups is a, the Grant Your Wish Fairy Godfather, Fairy Godmother card. Okay, so in the future, well, how is this going to unfold? <coughs> Gosh, I had my second vaccination and I'm getting a little bit of uh, symptoms, a little bit of symptoms here. So weird, but I'm so happy. I will be in the clear soon and able to have fun again. Okay, so, okay, so Four of Cups energy says that both of you are looking at this, but it's almost like you're both so excited going driving the car like you're at the speedway you know that it is causing conflict between the two of you you will have a new beginning but let's look at the clarifiers because this is very interesting that there's so much love so much excitement so much planning for the future but there's still as you move forward doing things this way it looks as though you're just not building the foundation. You talk about building the foundation, but you haven't built it yet. So that's how I see this so far, that you know, you came into this with all of the, the right thought processes, all of the right you know, spirit of doing things. Ah, magician, beautiful. That's manifestation through Virgo energy. So it does show that you have the potential to manifest this relationship that is Gemini Virgo energy. You know, communication will bring about the answers that you need. But the Eight of Cups, look at that. It looks as though somebody may have said that they didn't want a traditional relationship. So the Eight of Cups is you may have both been married before, or one or both of you may have been married before and made the declaration that you could have the relationship without the marriage certificate. So I feel as though for some of you, and I know some very happy couples that have done that, They've been together for 20 years. There's an engagement ring, but there's not a marriage certificate. So I get that that is part of the discussion here is, you know, I don't want to do things the old way. I want the stability. But the Eight of Cups is definitely, again, Pisces energy. Some confusion over that. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Judgment card. Making the judgment to jump in, full tilt, commit totally before you were really knew each other very well. It looks like early commitment. The Ace of Wands, again, you know, that's sexy energy, hopping in, very passionate. Uh, it's the initiator. It's the moment you light the fire after you get all the tender and all the, the, uh, the fire is ready to go and you ignite it and it goes poof. 
you have but here I will say this one of the most important cards that I see for long-term relationships is the Sun card and the Sun card is incredibly powerful because it means that no matter what when a couple has the Sun energy in their relationship there's a resilience there there's an attraction that's so magnetic that's so glorious that it can withstand a lot and that's Leo energy it's a fixed sign so even though it's about romance and children and fun and play and vacations and and sex it also is you know it's a human basic human drive that is very well fulfilled in this relationship and I just dropped a bunch of cards okay I'm not going to take all of those it's too many okay so let's go ahead and clarify the current energy so this is kind of your foundation that's your history the foundation okay so let's see where you're at in building I like this set of cards currently the eight of coins good we've we saw that before now we see it again your eight of coins your person feels as though the two of you need to get to know each other better so do you you're definitely that's becoming having mastery so not all about going out, getting drunk, or, you know, going out with friends, hanging out, vacationing, partying, whatever. What this says is that both of you are going to really get to know each other, that you're building more of a foundation. So that's incredibly important to your relationship success, Cancer. What do we have here for the Four of Wands? This is... Aries energy it's it's a marriage card and here we have four of wands clarified by the four of wands so for those of you who may be married this could be an absolute rebirth in your relationship in which you're coming back after a period of time of having stability and then troubles and then stability again <clears throat> So let's see, why is the Cancerian energy of the chariot here? You both have fire in your belly. You're bo both of you are in it to win it. You're not going to give up. You're going to speak your truth. It does look as though there is the perception that, that there could have been there's been some sort of heartbreak, disappointment. Something that somebody did or said appears to not have been completely truthful. It could have been about money. It could have been about almost anything is what I'm getting. But it does look like, you know, at this time there's some difficulty with somebody either speaking too abruptly because the Knight of Swords is a run with scissors. I have to rush in. I'm not going to really think what I have to say. And I'm just going to blurt it out. So it does speak to the fact that the two of you do need to be careful. Because Pisces, you have a tendency to just pull backwards, you know. You pull into your shell here. You know, you go kind of underground. And your person is all out here like boom, boom, boom. This Knight of Swords is Gemini energy. The Three of Swords is Libra energy. So it does look as so there was an event that has really hurt the relationship in some way, but it looks like it was an exchange of words, uh, a rapid sort of exchange that was fairly thoughtless, perhaps. Okay, so let's see. Going forward, victory, beautiful energy, Leo energy again. Using your head, the king of swords, using your intellect, and the three of coins, which is a very good card. Collaboration, being sensible, you know, thinking this through, uh, creating a victory, having fun. It looks as though you might be a very sociable couple. So it does look like you have a victory there. It can also indicate for those who are single that you're studying or thinking about becoming engaged. <clears throat> a new beginning. Okay, you have, excuse me, I thought that was the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so what we have here is the Two of Coins. Coming up with different ideas, trying different things, you know, trying to figure out one of you in this relationship, and I think it's a fire sign, is really somebody who's on hyperdrive. Very, very hyper. Loves a lot of activity. And Cancer, this is, you know, the Four of Cups is more your energy, more introspective, you know, softer kind of energy. And so what we're seeing is the two of you in the future are looking at a balancing act. 
you know, how can we compromise with the Three of Pentacles? How can we intelligently make a decision? What's our, our master plan? When you think of the King of Swords, you're looking at the the war room strategist, you know, <clears throat> the Super Bowl coach. What plays are we going to make that are going to help us get across the finish line to the beautiful victory that you want? Both of you look like you could be either uh, studying online, like, you know, going to websites on YouTube or something that tell you about, you know, how to resolve conflict within a couple, you know, how to do things better, how to deal with um, relationship issues could even be consulting because you see the book could be consulting a therapist but i think for most of you it's more do it yourself wheel of fortune is clarifying the five of wands one of you really wants to move ahead very rapidly and they're pu you're pushing for it but the seven of swords says it's ill-advised so why do we have this wheel wheel of fortune's beautiful but it looks like somebody's being very pushy, very egocentric, not being quite honest. What's that about? The Three of Wands, the future. Somebody wants their way. I would say this fiery energy wants their way. And it is damaging the situation. <clears throat> I have to say that in the future, I feel as though this is Cancerian energy. What I'm seeing here is that somebody is just not coming clean with something that they did. We, it's sort of like there's there's a refusal on the part of a fire sign energy, perhaps. It can be any, any energy. But one of you is not admitting that they have told a lie or that they are giving lip service to the plan and not living the plan. Because we get the Ten of Swords. Both of you, you know, this is... This is the end of something that's very painful. And what we see here is, you know, it looks like it's a lie. It looks like all of this trouble that we've seen in the relationship is based on the lack of a truth on the part of uh, an energy that is all about passion. So let's see, why do we have the Seven of Swords here? The Cup of Love. So it looks as though there may be some sort of um, texting going on. It looks as though the, the uh, energy of Leo is possibly has a friend who's texting them and it's causing trouble in the relationship and yet it doesn't look like it's gone away so it does look like there is still an issue as you go into the future it does look like you make a lot of progress it looks as though some things are good but boy oh boy this whole knight of swords three of swords you know uh seven of swords ten of swords energy it will be over in the near future but for right now let's also look and see what we have from the oracle card what is the advice please spirit give us advice here for our beautiful cancer friends on what to do patience okay boundaries okay so there have to be boundaries um, and purity so that really speaks to itself whatever's going on down here where there has been some secrecy whether it be liking other people's things on social media whether it be you know a colleague at work who needs your phone number but who seems to abuse it and you know one of the partners really covering that up maybe being a little bit you know, too friendly with this person. It doesn't look like there has been, quote unquote, you know, necessarily any infidelity. It could be for some, it could be, um, but it does look like this takes a spectrum all the way from people who are just starting out to people who've been together for a long time. So interesting energy. Cancer, sending you love. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Bye-bye.